Act I of Gulzara, or The Persian Slave, by Anna Cora Mowat. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Dramatis Personae Amareth, a boy of ten years of age, son of the Sultan Suleiman. Read by Jasmine Selma. Zuleika, daughter of the Sultan. Read by Kelly Taylor. Fatima, companion of Zuleika. Read by the Story Girl. Katinka, read by Larry Wilson. Aisha, wife of the fisherman Mustafa. Read by T.J. Burns. Galzara, newly purchased slave of the Sultan Suleiman. Read by E.J. Lavery. Stage directions read by Wayne Cook. Scene Constantinople. Act One, Scene One, the chamber of Zuleika in the harem of Sultan Suleiman. Zuleika reclining on a couch, engaged in embroidery. Fatima seated on a cushion at her feet, winding bright colored silks. Zuleika showing her work. How think you it is shaped? This tinted flower, mimics it nature well, dear Fatima so skilfully the dullest slave had vowed it grew beneath zuleika's fairy hand thou flatterer how fain i'd let thee cheat mine eyes to think thine true for tis to win the guardian of my father's smile these hues in broadway blend dear father sweet the toil that boasts the best reward to pleasure thee whose labours joy imparting doth himself with his own gift enrich again showing her embroidery but tis twill done in sooth most dexterously but if twere ill methinks that never fell the partial eye of your most idolizing sire on aught those fingers traced when broke not rapturously his sympathizing lip in smiles alas when shall that eye of love once more meet mine Three moons have wearied with their lustre since the death-fraught blast of war hath robbed your bower of its dear lord, Zuleika of her sire. Oh, how I long to hear that Baghdad owes victorious Suleiman her conqueror, that Persia's king before his footsteps flies, and homeward bound those steps my father turns. Were it not for my young brother's joyousness, your varying tales and loved companionship, how tedious since the drum's first beat had lagged old time's decrepit feet. For favorites, mured in yon pent harem's bounds and languishing, like flowerets mid some thickly shaded wood, that wasted wither, pining for the sun, they might, but not for her the arbitress of good who scarce by thirteen springs matured with mightier sceptre sways these harem walls than ever wielded spoilt sultana yet unless it were roxalana's self indeed whom suleiman tis said made peace or war enslaved the free or loosed the captive's chain to please asks roxalana's child for more Prithi have i not told thee prattling girl tis not the might my sire's indulgent love invests me with save when that power i use rather in recompense than punishment adds to my son of happiness one beam and yet you deem me too omnipotent forget the sultan e'en in bounteous love or sweeping reason's bulwark wise hath left the kislar aga of our harem's guard sole chief supreme approval of my deeds that age's coldness temper youth's wild warmth but waste we not to-day my father's gift how shall we honour it in the employ of good were it not well used in summoning gulzara the young persian slave the last and loveliest purchase of our honoured lord whom yester eve a niobe of tears the speechless incarnation of despair was hither brought and whom our harem all successless strove to cheer be yours the task well said 
be such my occupation here no tear shall fall within zuleika's realm zuleika's hand shall not essay to dry save one drop that springs from guiltless woe a diamond in my crescent should grow dim she claps her hands three times enter katinka with obeisance Galzara, greet for me say in our bower we wait the pleasure of her company sultana i have wings at your command exit with obeisance for friendly sympathy shall she not lack that honeyed thief who stealeth sorrow's sting and wounds itself to heal another's pain re-enter katinka as before obedient to your wish princess she comes enter gulzara slowly who bends to zelinka and exit katinka welcome young stranger in my father's name i bid you to his palace welcome and may hospitality that waits your steps and kindly friendship make its shelter dear i were ungrateful not to give you thanks nay spare them until fairly won for still that eye with gathering moisture half flows o'er that brow is shadowed by voiceless gloom in yonder sumptuous harem find you aught engendering grief gulzara confused oh yes no yes spare me peerless sultana spare your slave until my untaught tongue has smoothly learnt to frame despite a heart or swelling with such thoughts as may not break the barrier of my lips such complacent reply as to your rank is due you wrong me most unwittingly as the skilled hakim seeks the malady which knowing not he cannot hope to cure gozara i would hear the uncoloured truth what in the gay zenana like you not it lacks to me the humble look the dear familiar aspect of my native cot your broidered cushions cannot bring me sleep your flatteries joy or gorgeous splendour peace tis not my home yet such must henceforth be what art of ours can render it less strange have you the art these gilded walls to give the unpolished rudeness of my father's hut where every object that i gaze upon brings back the story of some childish hour to bid that father's holy smile beam forth the placid light that cheers our toil or sport to wake for me my mother's gentle tone whose warbling makes the bulbul's music harsh and with gay childhood's laughter glad mine ear take back your splendid luxuries in lieu of wealth and ease these lowlier treasures give though labour be my lot and scanty food toils recompense were this boon possible then might i call your palace prison home such magic know i not yet must we strive to make our bowers as dear as stranger ones can be claps her hands enter katinka your softest cushion hither bring exit katinka and returns with the cushion which she places where zuleika by waving her hand directs and after waiting an instant as for commands exit again the downy couch invites your yielding form our converse may beguile the weary hours that fastest fly by thoughtless mirth pursued gulzara seating herself forgive me that i have not guile to force the merriment that should to yours respond could but the soothing hand of pity heal the blow of cruelty my bosom scarce would bleed i pray thee woo more cheerful thoughts that sure physician time brings certain cure for every wound with holier charms shall robe these stranger walls than those you languish for to-day you know not yet my father's soft and gentle nature yes the day will come when changed gulzara more than home or kin shall love the sultan suleiman gulzara starting from her seat love him love him thy father ay great cause is mine to love the sultan suleiman to pay him back for banishment from all most dear parents and home 
and sweet companionship of joyous sisters. With that only gift the opulent may prize but cannot force, the poor preserve to offer love. You jest indeed, Zuleika, born in high estate, and chained by chilling forms that riches weave to curb down speaking nature's warmer impulse. Thou canst not know the sweet reunion round the evening hearth when day's toils cease the shout of gleeful children mingling with the low and thrilling music of the zebek waked or softer still the praise from lips revered that consecrates some act of bygone day the holy blessing on each bended head that potent opiate wooing happy sleep and radiant dreams the dusky brow of night grown old and tinged with grey which dying give expectant morning birth thou canst not paint how freshened by the wholesome rest that's given to poor content we meet and with renewed affection usher in the welcome light would that we ever thus on thy fair banks beloved tigress blessed had lived for spite more barbarous usage my fond father vowed his offspring untransplanted should around him bloom strangers alike to slavery and shame vain was his oath the evil eye fell on us how or where the sultan saw or wherefore fixed on me i wonder still his stately vizier to my father sent a noble price was offered all in vain i wept and prayed my mother moaned and sobbed my father's heart was bowed in silent woe resistance were to war with thunderbolts or with unshielded bosom tempt their burst they took away my humble robe they decked me in this gaudier garb amid her tears fondly my mother smiled to see me thus arrayed but my poor father shook his head and wishful scanned my simpler dress and sighed while from his parched and burning lid the tear whose gushing eases pride pent found no way then came the dreadful hour the parting hour oh, tis a fable all that hearts can break else were this breast that fearful instant riven how fast with feeble hands they clung how called upon gulzara to forsake them not my infant sisters how my father strained me long and silently my mother wild with woe with streaming eyes on bended knee implored the transient respite of an hour rudely they tore me from her twining arms by force unclasped but oh i see her now as the rich embroidered draperies of that gay araba i looked my last and saw her stone-like stand with arms wide stretched white lips eyes from their sockets starting out and when the shroud of distance like death's pall had veiled me from her sight the shriek that burst my mother's shriek even now it rings to mad mine ear and shuts out every mocking sound of comfort which but wastes the breath it spends no more i pray thy words are spells that raise a phoenix from the woe long hushed and dead and ruthless memory haunts me with a grief outrivalling thine i too am motherless on her first loved and truest loving i have gazed when she gave back no answering glance we will not think of this once more i say you know not the dear parent still mine own would that i ne'er had known his cruelty zuleika interrupting her with dignity he is my father pause let that restrain your blind reproach he is and to have been thy father should have been earth's noblest best by every high and lovely virtue graced which sits on you as twere an heritage but were he such or greater could there be more great my reverence or my gratitude he might command but never waken love there's cause for this i see it now you love some other is it not so Gulzara aside what have i said blushes they say like crimson tinted clouds proclaim the god they veil divined i right i pray you bid me not reply i must 
but prompted by no whim or like caprice speak then and freely maiden i attend Golzara aside thou faltering tongue how shall i tutor thee aloud to utter what this shrinking heart is whispering to conceal why tis no shame zuleika yes there was there is one more then bears the name of kindred whom thou lovest to hear the tale be ours thou lovest and whom whom it is the question i still ask myself by chance such seeming chance of purpose sure as destiny schemes we met one evenfall when farther from our cot than prudence urged or was my wont i wandered sudden from the adjacent wood a fierce young arab rushed from his rude grasp with terror impotent a huntsman rescued me i know not why so often turned my thoughts that night to his protecting arm and reassuring voice but when the memory of my fear arose strangely a joy broke in that chased its gloom as brightly pictured in my dreams that face like guardian saints watching o'er me still next morn while herbs and flowers on neighbouring hills i sought my thoughts were roving where i scarcely knew when lo i raised mine eyes their object stood before me ask me not twere sacrilege to paint the mystic weavings of the chain or breathe how love more closely knit our hearts day after day passed on and still he came more joyful each new meeting and more sad when warned the setting sun that we must part he was not young but in that mellow prime that hath of softness more more tenderness mingling with all youth's fire yet would i not have changed the gathering snows upon his brow from manhood's jettiest lock and all that might have others marred were but new charms in him twas while thus sped the pleasure-laden hours the sultan's mandate came in dizzy haste i sought our old accustomed trysting place but hafed came not hours wore on but brought not him the morrow rose he tarried still another sun must sunder us for ever again i stole despairing forth to look upon that aged tree whose murmuring leaves seemed echoing back the vows which they had heard hopeless upon the earth i flung myself but started up as wound a gentle arm around me hafed yes twas hafed's self the past seemed but a fearful vision this the joyful truth the future's menaces and latent fears and present grief absorbed in that sweet moment's transport but alas cruel when kindness most could cheer for looks all warmth and words all love reproaches met my startled ear reproaches for my joy the sultan's splendour dazzled me he said i willing went to grace my gilded cage he was forgot the flash of joy the last this heart can e'er give forth was quenched at once as lurid lightning leaves the sky more dark my soul grew from its momentary bliss more deeply sad but soon he to my vows gave ear banished transforming frowns and soothed me with bright promises that we should meet should blissful meet again bade me believe swore that i still should be his bride and left me suddenly confused by words so strange but filled with hope deceitful hope thou shown'st a false mirage to cheat my thirsting soul the morrow came but hafed hafed where was he and where his oaths my tale is done or needs no finishing behold me here would that it were longer but less sad and yet what saddest oft most charms the happy ear how strangely new how thrilling must have been the passion that engulfed all other feeling reared in these walls with eyes that never gazed on the face of man except my sire's yet have the books that his indulgence granted me mirrored so well the ecstasy of hearts that linked till death loved on through life unchanged i almost wept 
that i had never known to love ask not the fatal knowledge love the bright-hued serpent luring but to sting who for each fancied rapture he imparts bestows the alloy of agonies too real oh rather pray thy breast may never wake to deeper feeling you are happy not the wild felicity with passion wed its hurricanes e'en when most fortunate of anger fear of jealousy revenge the storms all turbulence and rage that mix with its delirious bliss but calm content of innocence is yours it were to bid the placid stream that smoothly bears your bark swell into danger-crested billows with the skies in combat but to ask such change a noise heard behind the scenes amrath from behind stand back you saucy slaves not to be disturbed when did my sister with disturbers class her amrath stand back and let me pass enter amrath who springs into the arms of zuleika good morn sweet sister mine those surly slaves would fain have barred my entrance say i vex you not golzara who appears moved while the boy speaks that voice zuleika returning his embrace nor could my amorath golzara aside surely that face hath met mine eye before those tones mine ear tis like some faded dream that leaves a shadow misty undefined for memory to prey upon that brow those speaking eyes i've seen and yet not so sister it irks me much that our dear sire still tarries from his home sure his return must glad us soon will it not we can but hope goes zara half aside for my despair is this that persian slave tis whispered in the harem bears our sire such loathing hate now by his beard if it be we shall not as they argue vainly woo her love for were it in courtesy alone she can but yield that rightful payment do the debt of ours young courtier thanks thee not to love unless with adamantine gates my heart were barred i scarce could dare to hope fatima who has gradually approached then lovest thou that which must destroy thy hopes golzara dropping the hand of amareth and how in loving him who banishes the hope enshrined in every breast that swells its wishful pulses neath the harem's dome sultana of that mimic world to reign for sultan suleiman hath often sworn while yonder boy loved roxalana's child his sceptre's heir and sole successor lived he never bride mongst all his harem flowers would choose that no new son legitimate might pluck the crescent from his favoured brow or struggling for the envy diadem dissension in the peaceful harem wake oh were but were that the only barrier to my desires no credit me what bars may block the pathway to my hopes the boy shall ne'er be won fatima aside shall not <laughs> tis passing strange look then her eagle eyes upon the sun enter katinka princess ayesha wife of mustafa our noble sultan's favourite fisherman begs that the lustre of your countenance on her and on her lowly offering fall ayesha here again tis not three days since of some precious trifle last she begged our pleased acceptance i remember not that to my father or myself she owes these testimonies this is indeed love unbought free entrance to the fateful give exit katinka who returns with aisha bearing a basket of shells tastefully arranged with moss she kneels to zuleika behind whose couch katinka places herself folding her arms upon her breast daughter of paris humbly at your feet this loveliest offering of the bounteous wave though poor at such an altar i present and pray your favour's gracious evidence by its reception to your slave be shown zuleika bowing as she receives the basket you are not chary of your tokens nor shall we by your example tutored stint on our just reward after examining the shells with emerath 
the latter passes them to katinka who remains holding the basket aisha rising and making an inclination of thanks aside ah did she but divine what just reward i asked the boy is there ah again shall disappointment balk my hopes still shall i seek and seek in vain no though the search were lengthened to eternity alone my life in yielding i relinquish thee thou sweet pursuit of stern revenge Gulzara to zelenka coming forward this morn the perfumed wind that through my lattice stole with incense breathing blossoms of the lime was laden and i looked upon a grove where rainbow pinioned birds shone in the sun and songsters clad in humbler garb poured forth their melody unseen while murmuring bees that vocal with their plaintive music made the wind seemed whispering of my father's home your kind permission princess let me beg to unattended wander in these woods there is balm in solitude and nature whose boasted virtue i would willing test our pleasures hoard we not so miserly as to enlarge our stock by ravishing from your poor store in captive holding you Kulzara bends in acknowledgment and is preparing to depart dear sister give me leave taking Kulzara's hand i will with you come then there's something in that soft tone which which i nay this is madness frenzy i'll not think upon it let us together forth exit Gulzara, leading emrath aisha aside allah is great unhoped unlooked-for joy he goes with her and she alone at last vengeance indeed is mine i knew it would come i have not waited not untiring watched for chance to baffle me revenge ha ah exit on the opposite side end of act one